you just you learn isotopes or you learn um, uh, you know, Isotope is a is really amazing. I, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, I let the editors deal with that. I, I, I'm still I'm a kind of a minimalist. I have basically um, a compressor. I just started using a. I bought my first plugin, <laughs> which is a fat filter plugin. <laughs> first, folks. <laughs> yeah, and that and that uh, that deesser works. I was I'm impressed with the deesser. So. Basically, um, I use a deesser, uh, a, uh, a seeder box, just to get just to skim at the bottom end, um, and uh, I've been using something called Magic Spectrum on occasion, which is a, an ADR. Uh, have you have you heard of Magic Spectrum? No, no. But it, it's pretty amazing. Uh, what it does is, uh, if you have a production line. An ADR line that you want to slip in, and then you go back to production. What you do is you analyze, you, you look at the production line through this box, analyze it, and then tell the uh, loop line to 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 mimic the equalization of it, so that you can actually get really really close, so that when you go from the production to the ADR, it sounds like it. It's the it, the EQ, there's like over a hundred EQ points in it. It's, it's very it can be very effective. Wow. But um, I, I always prided myself on being able to match loops without that box. With so as the technology um, increases, I mean, I, I I don't like to get lost in the technology so much because there's still an art to it, and I so I'm a, I'm more or less a, a minimalist in terms of a lot of gear. So it's just basically compressing. De, uh, compressing, deessing, and a little bit of uh, noise reduction. And I do a lot of hand hand deessing. I'll go through and uh, if, you're, if you're familiar with clip gain and Pro Tools, uh, uh, I'll, I'll go through. Uh, yeah, I can see the S's on the waveform, and I shh, so I'll just go through there and highlight the S and pull it down, and it's perfect. <laughs> it takes a little. It's a little laborious, but I like the sound of it. Some some DSers are a little too aggressive for me. That's why I like that Fab filter. So I use a Fab filter plugin just to get just to get a handle on the DSing. And if it's really aggressive, then I'll go in with a clip gain and, and pull it down a little further. 